This video is going to be extremely important for you. I can guarantee you that. In this video, I am going to be telling you about the mistakes that I made while using Marrow. Why am I talking about my Marrow mistake? It's because I strongly believe that we can learn a lot from other people's mistakes and we can move our life in a more better way. So I am going to share all the mistakes that I did while using Marrow so that you don't do the mistakes, you don't repeat the mistakes. I am Rohit Pivya, a third year medical student in Madhuri Medical College. And in this channel, I make videos about the MBBS academic stuff. And along with sometimes I make videos about productivity, stoicism, spirituality, all these other components of our life. So if this sounds like a cup of tea, then do subscribe. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. What are my marrow mistakes? Like if you are planning to skip the video, just listen to this one mistake and then you can skip it. Okay, I don't care. Just listen to this one mistake. The thing is, I didn't really solve marrow cubics for a very long time. Like, why did I even do this blunder? There's no point in watching the video lectures, just reading the book, if I'm not solving any MCQs. Like MCQs are made to test your knowledge. So going to my anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, microbiology, q -banks, the situation is pathetic. I have, I have barely even like touched these q -banks. That's like a terrible mistake. So I, I totally regret not doing those q -banks. So now I am forced to do those q -banks after I got into third year. So please don't make this mistake. Start solving your Q-Banks right and then. For example, if you watch a particular video in the morning, solve the Q-Bank in that very day. Because what I used to plan is that, okay, I'll see this topic tomorrow, today and I'll go and solve the Q-Bank tomorrow. But then the tomorrow will never come. We have only this today with us the whole time. So watch a video, solve the Q-Bank, uh, understand your mistakes, understand the missing links, solve them, clear them, move on. That's it. That's your only thing. Mistake number two, forcing myself to watch the videos even when I know that some of the videos are pointless. I don't want to pinpoint a particular faculty but there is this faculty in Maro. I didn't like the faculty's teaching method at all but still I forced myself to listen to the whole faculty's lectures, all the lectures. The faculty was like simply reciting facts throughout the video but then I was forcing myself to like listen to the faculty the whole time. So you don't have to do this. Once you find that this faculty is not doing great or once you find that the faculty doesn't really match your needs, you can go to other options. There are obviously better options out there. We have other uh, subscriptions also. You can go to them. So, don't do this mistake. If you find something is useless, stop doing it then and that. No one is forcing you to like complete this subject fully. No one is asking you to complete random fully, physiology fully, mechanics. No, nobody is asking you to do that. So, you don't have to do that. If you find it pointless, stop it right then and that. Just keep it, that's it. Mistake number three. We all want to be that productivity guru. And so we put the videos in 2x and then try to watch them. But sometimes in 2x you tend to miss some words. You tend to misunderstand some sentences what the faculty is saying. And you'll be like, okay, anyways, no problem. I want productivity. You're supposed to go this way. Like there are these two roads, this road and this road. You have a supercar. You are supposed to go this way. You're supposed to reach this destination. But then you're going in this destination in the supercar at top speed. So it's like you are telling yourself, okay, I am I'm going really fast, I am traveling really fast, super, but then you are going in the wrong direction. However fast you go, there is no point in like going this fast straight. If you are going to the wrong destination, there is no point in even going fast, there is no point in going at all. So don't do this mistake. Like if the comprehension is the topmost thing, productivity comes next, comprehension is the topmost thing. Even if you have to, even if you have to watch the video in 0.8x, if you get only if you get good comprehension, should you increase the speed of the video? Otherwise, like choose yourself. What which video speed gives you 100% comprehension? Find that and watch it. That's it. Mistake number four is not watching at least like one video daily. You should develop this habit of watching at least one or two videos daily because matter is pretty vast. So you have to like keep a goal daily, like daily goals. Because in my case, what happens is that the whole week I won't be watching any videos. And then Sunday I will be forced to like watch a video for an upcoming exam. So I have to cram all the videos. But if you cram all the videos in like sound videos in like sound hearts, then I'm not going to be able to absorb everything into me, right? I'm going to be like our brain is not able to really hold that much information. So this is a terrible mistake. Try to keep some goals like two videos daily, uh, one video daily, two cubics daily. Keep these goals and proceed. Mistake number five is not doing test. I didn't do any test, the mini test, subject test, I did I did any of them. Like, why did I even like buy Maro if I didn't do all these things? So don't do this mistake. Try to attend the test. See, you have to remember this one thing. 
these tests are not actually test these cubes are not actually test but so remove this this is just your additional resource to prepare because in my case the reason why i didn't really attend my test is that i was scared of getting lower ranks because i wasn't really prepared that much but i can't really prepare unless i know my mistakes and how will i know my mistakes by attending the q banks and the test so make sure that you attend the test you attend the q bank just don't do this mistake all right and the final last mistake is that not revising your previous lectures there are like 90 videos 90 videos in like some subject the moment you complete like 30 videos and you go to the next 30 videos the first 30 videos will start to slowly like forget them this is exactly what happened in my case i was just doing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 no? and by the time you come to the 10th video the information from the 1 2 3 4 videos start to go away so it will like constantly revise so when you're going to the third video just go through like just read this first video like go through the notes when you're going to the fifth video read the third fourth videos like develop this habit it is all about habit if you have a good habit of solving like one cube and two cube and three watching two videos daily completing marrow will be a cakewalk for you no doubt in that and in this video i talked about how to use marrow efficiently this is my top most watched video for a reason i don't know why maybe you let me know why this video is uh, going pretty decently anyways Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.